So I'm doing a MBio in Biological Sciences at the University of Warwick. So I've really chose it because it's a really, really good location for my house and it had nice towns around it to live in, like Lem, where I was like, this is nice. And when I looked at the uni itself and the facilities, especially with sport, I really liked it and I thought this is probably the best place for me. I chose biology because at Warwick because I always knew I wanted to do something biology related but with biological sciences especially it's such a wide version of biology that it gave me the flexibility to choose exactly what I want to do later on so I don't really need to choose what part of biology I want to go into until my second year so it gives me a year to figure out what lectures are going to be like and what I'm going to enjoy more later on in my degree. Like I said, the course is quite flexible and a lot of the lecturers are great and I really got on with them and they're great to go and ask for help, which I did a lot with some of my labs. The workload is about what you'd expect for, with biology, so it's quite big, but there's not many essays, it's more just, you have, a, we have like an exam every like two weeks, which is 20 minutes long and you just show up and it's multiple choice and then you leave. And at the end of the year you have exams, like all unis. Um, but there's not many essays and it's really, really manageable as much work you get. As Really as long as you get your one lab report done in each week, you're good for the year. The campus itself is great. It's bigger than I expected it to be from the tours that I did. But you get around it really easily, you kind of just get used to it in a way. I really don't... If you really don't want to walk, you can, I think, get a shuttle bus. I don't really know anyone who uses that on a regular basis. Uh, biology, the campus for biology is actually on a separate campus called Gibbet Hill, which is a 10 minute walk from the main campus. And it's actually really nice, it has its own cafes and stuff, so that's nice, you just gotta walk through the woods, which is fairs. Uh, the nightlife itself in the uni is good, there's stuff to do on and off campus, it just depends if you wanna go clubbing or you wanna go to the pub or you wanna go to the bar. All of which are options on campus, as well as if you want to get a short Uber or bus ride away. People go to Coventry and Lem on nights out, so it really just up to you. And if you don't want to go like out, there's always stuff going on in the evenings with clubs. Like they do like sober socials and we do drinking socials. I really enjoyed my first year, though I feel like there's not much I can say because it got cut short by COVID. Um but it was really fun and like everyone I met was really nice. You just have to, I feel like everyone there kind of knew, knows what they want to do. And everyone knew someone from bef like their old school. So I knew a few people before I went, which was quite nice. In my first year, I actually lived in two different accommodations. One was the oldest accommodation for the uni, which was like shared bathrooms, a lot more people. I think it was 18 of us in the kitchen. It was nice but it wasn't the accommodation I felt most comfortable in and I think that's the great thing about Warwick is that they have so many different accommodations that you kind of get to figure out who you're most likely to get along with within the accommodation and I just chose the wrong one so I actually moved to a different accommodation which was en suite and there I think I made a much a better choice Though my one advice with accommodations work is do your research because I know people who did biology with me but they lived like a 45 minute walk away from the biology campus while I was like a 5-10 minute walk. So you really have to just look at the campus and go where are my lectures and choose accommodation that way because you don't want to be doing a 45 minute walk every morning especially if it's raining. My favourite thing about the uni is probably all the clubs and societies. There are a bunch of them and they're a good way to get into uni life and get to know anyone. So that's how I met a lot of people is just by committing to this club or this society. And they do things like circling and they have other society activities outside of the sport that you choose or activity you choose itself. So that's like a lot of fun to get to really like know people, not just play a sport with them. My least favourite thing was probably parking. 
which isn't a problem from like I didn't think it was a problem for any other first years because everyone lives on campus and they just get the train or the bus home or so their parents can pick them up but I had to drive back and forth from home a lot for like a range of reasons and so it just ended up being a bit frustrating because there was not really any parking done for specifically for first years and the uni was really good about it like a load of my lecturers helped me and the uni itself helped me a lot with getting parking it just it's got such good public transport links that the, most people don't worry about cars, especially in first year. There's loads to do outside of actual, like, if you're just talking about uni work, there's loads of other stuff to do, like the sports. Um, but I think with most unis, it's just about how much you're willing to put yourself out there and find like, stuff to do. I had a few friends who were, like, going out clubbing six nights a week and they had like their calendar of where they went every night. And then I had some other friends who were doing different sport every evening. And then I, there was other people who just went to the gym, made friends there, or like some people who just went and had dinner or like were adventuring around like the local towns and stuff. Cause it was a really pretty area of the countryside that I knew loads of people who just went on walks for people and it was like, okay. Uh, so there's loads to do around the uni and getting to towns around the uni is really easy because you can just get the bus or an uber or i could drive so like i went into coventry a lot and i went to lem a lot and even in first year like you have the opportunity to leave campus it's not like you're stuck there my main advice for going to uni in general would be uh, do your research into accommodation the course the lectures and everything before you go because, like I said, if you do one subject, you don't want to live a 40 minute walk away from every lecture. But you also want to work out like where your lectures are going to be. Because I know some people who do biochem and they like have to walk from chemistry to biology, which is like a common thing when you do biochem. But it's like work that out before you go so you don't end up living at an accommodation or something way at the other side from both of them. And if you do another subject that you're going to be moving from like maths to engineering, just know where everything is before you go, because it makes life a lot easier on your first day. So there's loads of sports at Warwick. Uh, there's some that you probably haven't heard of before, like Octopush, which I play. But joining in with the sport is definitely what I found easiest about getting like into the uni life in a way. Um, the sports centre itself is brand new and that's great, it's really really nice and it has with gym and climbing walls and everything and there's a bunch of sports pitches and there's really an option sporting wise for everyone depending on what you want to do, um, even like complete beginners or if you couldn't take it really seriously you can join, I think a lot of people do like a competitive team and like a non-competitive team or people just rock up and play and just have fun so it's just there's loads of opportunities for everyone for sport. My budget really fluctuates, like really fluctuates, like it really depends on what I'm doing that week, if I'm buying petrol and going home, if I'm getting the train somewhere, if I'm going out a lot more than I usually do, if there's a really crazy costume that I want to wear to circling how much I'm willing to spend on that costume, how much alcohol I'm buying. Uh, so it really, it really, yeah, it fluctuates. I'd say if I've been home that week and I've raided my dad's fridge and I've just come back with a week's worth of food, I'm spending almost nothing. Um, but if I'm spending like a few weeks at uni, I'd say I spend around 60 pounds, but I'm not sure. I'm, that might be overestimating or underestimating. It, like, it really fluctuates depending on what I feel like doing that week. I hope that's good. I have no idea how good that is, but I hope it helps. <laughs>